one area of film where I am, I wouldn't say I'm sorely lacking, but I am very much lacking in is foreign films. I, I've seen a good amount of foreign films, but not nearly as much as some of my colleagues who, <clears throat> you know, horror colleagues who have gone through all of the, the Italian stuff. Uh, some of them, you know, big into the Asian stuff and part of the problem with the Asian stuff is that a lot of it doesn't come over here. Um, and then I do know some people who uh, big into the Mexican and South American stuff and even a, a couple of people who know African quite well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, when you get to be my age, a lot of people have branched out and are big into, well, not that they branched, they branched out a long time ago, 20 years ago probably, but um, got big into foreign films and a lot of people tend to shy away from them because of the subtitles, right? But once you get over those subtitles, a lot of people tend to delve right into them and go nuts. And then they just gobble them up. I'm not like that. I watch a lot of stuff, a lot of different things. I will watch the latest Godzilla film and then watch maybe something from Germany or something from... Well, I do watch a lot of stuff from China. Thank you to Welgo. But, uh, yeah, this video is about stuff from Japan. Thanks to Arrow Video USA because we are going to unbox this... I don't know anything about this, honestly. I, if Arrow had never released this, I would never know about it. Um, the Female Prisoner Scorpion, the complete collection, with Female Prisoner 701, Scorpion, Female Prisoner Jailhouse 41, Female Prisoner Scorpion Beast Stable, and Female Prisoner Scorpion 701's Grudge Song. anything about these um, yeah I I guess that's why I'm really looking forward to checking them out um, but enough of this rambling on let's open this puppy up and see what's going on inside because I'm as curious as you are if you're watching this video if you're not watching this video then you either own it or you don't care because why else would you not be watching this video I just pulled the plastic off. It was a real easy pull off. It wasn't like the other arrow releases I've gotten. This is much thinner plastic. So I just came off. So here we go. There is the front. There's the back. That is too much to really do anything but pause it. Here's the top. Hmm. Here's the bottom. Hmm. Arrow often does stuff on tops and bottoms, so I'm kind of surprised. There's the back so you know what's going on here. And here's what you get inside. Ooh. So we will pull all of that out. Mm. See, look at, I love Arrow. Look how thick that is. Yeah, that, that sound alone tells you it's thick. So we will go with the first disc. And this is Female Prisoner 701 Scorpion. Ooh. This is going to be a pretty long video because we got a lot of things to go through. So there is the front there's the back again you're gonna have to pause that sucker to read it and notice not for individual sale yes only available in this box set and then we open up oh okay interesting um, I don't think that's a poster for this particular <laughs> movie uh, so yes we get some discard over here and we get some inserts and it does say a female prisoner 701 scorpion because there's only Blu-rays in here. It does say Blu-ray, but it's only Blu-ray. Um, yeah, not a problem there. We'll pull this out. Oh, oh wait, no, there are. Oh, it's a Blu-ray DVD combo. Uh oh. Yeah, one of the problems I have with Arrow videos is they don't really. I mean, yes, they are clearly different discs. You know, you see the movie title on both of them, but which one is the DVD and which one's the Blu-ray? The only th way you can tell is by, I'll show you right, right there, Blu-ray. And over here it says DVD. That's very, very small, and some people, 
who are getting older have difficulty seeing small things. And one of the things I will say is as you get older, your interest in foreign films can tend to increase. And so you may be much older than me when you finally get into these type of films and track down these type of releases only to find you can't tell which one's the Blu-ray and which one's the DVD. That's not a good thing. Just something to, you know, keep in mind, Arrow. Doesn't take much to put, I mean, like this, these ones. Look at all this space. Look at all, you could have put the DVD and Blu-ray logos right here. Easy to see. But that's beside the point. Let's get to that insert that was here. So yeah, this is just, this is for, you know, it's a little picture card uh, for other releases that they have. Obviously, this is Slugs, and then on the back, you get, yeah, all of that wonderfulness that is there. So we will pull these out. So we will take out the DVD here. Take a look at this case. It is pressed. Blu-ray, it is pressed. And then we find it is a standard arrow case, but ooh, that looks like some original artwork. Yes, it does. So uh, different colors, different artwork, but otherwise it is all the same in terms of the text. So we got to move on to the next one. Question is, will there be inserts in every single one? That's a good question. Let us find out. Here we go. This is Female Prisoner Scorpion Jailhouse 41. There you go. And then the back, again, you're going to have to pause that sucker. And when we open it up, no, no inserts on in every single one. That is interesting. Very interesting. I wouldn't have expected them to put it in it because that's really money just wasted, but whatever. And then we get two discs very similar to the other one. Nice that these colors are different than in the previous one that I opened up, but again, still the same problem with regards to the DVD or Blu-ray logo. So you get the Arrow video logo, you can tell it's from Arrow Video, but you can't tell if it's a DVD or Blu-ray. Well, you can, but it's not easy. It's not right there in your face, and for people who have trouble reading that small text, it can be a little difficult. Just saying. So, don't need to check if they're pressed. We did that with the other one. They will be the same, but we do want to see this artwork. So I'll pull this out and show that to you. There you go. Again, the, it's just a different color for the, the text. The text is the same, but the artwork is different. Uh, again, I'm guessing that's original theatrical poster artwork by the looks of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, I don't know anything about these movies, so if I'm wrong, maybe, maybe that was a video release in Japan. Maybe that's where the artwork is from. If you know, comment down below. Love to hear from you. Next up, we've got Female Prisoner Scorpion Beast Stable. And there's the back. Again, pause it. And once we open it up, you know what to expect, which allows us to really move this along. Again, different colors. I'm surprised that these are like this. Like, I would have thought this would have been white with pink. But no, it's got this weird... Mm, whatever. Anyways, pull up the... Oh, I like that one. That one's nice. The big problem with this one is which cover will you choose? Because normally when you have reversible cover, it comes with the slip cover type thing, right? So the slip cover may have the new artwork on it, but you, and you can change out the artwork on the disc to the you know old style. So you have both of them. This one, if you want new, this is the only way to have new. If you want old, you have to flip it around. But if you want both, you don't have that option. Just something to think about. And then finally, Female Prisoner Scorpion 701's Grudge Song. Bum, 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 bum. And then the 
back or we're going black. Black, black, black. Hmm. Again, they did a similar thing here too. Oh, I don't know what the reasoning for it is, but it is what it is. There you go. And then... Uh, Ooh, look at that. Look at that fancy now. Isn't that fancy? That's fancy. It's got the fanciness all over it. So that is all of the discs in this set. But there's more. Yes, there is this thing. Which I'm guessing is a poster. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so this looks like the first film. And this is the last film. So I'm kind of, kind of, being that it has this as posters, I'm kind of thinking that the artwork is from posters and not video releases, but who knows. And then we get a book, a hardcover book. Nice. So there's the front cover, there's the back cover, and there's the spine. And then, oh, oh yeah, I feel the spine crack. Wow, okay, there's a lot of writing in here. I'm going to just flip through this if I can. Harder with hardcover books. At least, well, harder when you're doing it backwards. So yeah, a lot of writing, like, <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, there's four movies, so it makes sense. But still, let's see what the... Huh. See this image? I don't know what that's to. Maybe it's a, an alternate poster or... Maybe a video. Yeah, it's got lots of writing. I mean, there's still nice images. Um, some of the stuff is 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 from the movie. Like well, most of it, it looks like it is from the movie. Then we got these type of things, which are really nice. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Very very cool. So. Yeah. Again, if you didn't hear me at the beginning, I don't know anything about these films. Not a single thing. So I am looking forward to not only watching them, but learning about them um, at the same time, which is the beautiful thing about this medium, DVD included, the extras, getting commentaries, getting um, featurettes and, and, and documentaries and such on the films or related subject matter available to you to watch. Love it. And there's going to be a lot of it in this. Yes. This is, this is, I don't even want to know how many hours of view, you know, of viewing there is on this, but, uh, yes, this limited edition Blu-ray collection is limited to 4,000 copies. So if you don't own it, track it down, get it. I'm sure it's worthwhile. But there you go. The Female Prisoner Scorpion, the complete collection, limited edition box set, Blu-ray box set from Arrow Video USA, unboxed, so you know what's going on inside. Yeah, that took a little bit. <laughs> Let me know if you've seen any of the films or if you know anything about them. Keep it spoiler free as always, uh, but I do love hearing from you. Are you into foreign film in general? Japanese specifically, um, I'm really really loving arrow video for that and it was one of the things i was looking forward to when they announced that they were going to be expanding into the north american market um sure it's great that they release some of the you know great north american films but i was more interested in their asian releases or even some of the you know european stuff that they they you know have been putting out or because one thing that UK gets that we don't really get here in North America is actual Asian film. 
have been getting a lot more um, stuff from India and China here where I live because we have a fair Indian and Chinese population but Japanese hmm yeah we've got a couple of film festivals but outside of that it's sorely lacking we're not getting much in terms of the way of theatrical so yeah I mean we didn't even get the the last Godzilla uh, film uh, from Japan I mean we got the latest North American one but we didn't get the last one from Japan so um, that was why well, I mean that was just silly I don't know why they didn't come over here but anyways this is about this and I'm ranting and ram rambling on in another tangent so yeah thanks for watching <laughs> till next video take care have a good one